Welcome to Culture Crash, where we examine American culture, what's new and old in entertainment. Last month, J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World saw its latest installment, Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, be met with a low score on Rotten Tomatoes and countless disappointed Harry Potter fans across the globe. Count me among them. Not since 2009's Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince film totally bungled its source material has a Wizarding World installment felt so misguided. Crimes of Grindelwald isn't quite as bad as Half-Blood Prince, but it is poorly paced and difficult to follow even for those who have spent their entire childhoods learning the universe forward and backward. Again, the keys to the kingdom were handed over to director David Yates, who has now made six installments of the Wizarding World's film series, and again, Yates proved he isn't really up to the task. Fantastic Beasts 2 is divided in too many directions. It introduces characters and then forgets them, fails to flush out the details of the prison break scene, which is the film's only great set piece, and lingers for too long on characters we struggle to understand fully, acting in ways we can't make sense of in scenes that are poorly staged. Yates seems uninterested in doing anything but filming the script, adding none of the flair or subtleties that Alfonso Cuaron brought to the Prisoner of Azkaban adaptation. In all, Crimes of Grindelwald manages to make a story about magic pretty boring. And that's before I even get to the final twist in Crimes of Grindelwald, which I won't spoil, but is either an outright lie, which would be a poor way to end a film, or a new detail that not only fails to pass a logic test, but retroactively diminishes the ending of the Harry Potter saga. I get no joy out of disliking this movie. I went to the theater expecting to leave exhilarated and excited for more. After all, for over 11 years now, we fans have been clamoring for more of the Potter universe. I still dream of a new novel that covers the story of the original Order of the Phoenix. But we only want more because we expect stories of a similar high quality to the original series. Stories much, much better than the one we got in Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Three more Fantastic Beasts movies are on their way, and us lifelong fans will surely be seeing them despite our new hesitations. Hopefully, the filmmakers find a way to conjure up some new magic, and fast. I'm Evan Rucker.